I love Bro Talk. From the swamp, a little K-pop singer. There's a K-pop singer. A new ranked mode with a new start. Did he say ranked mode? Oh, a new ranked mode. Okay, new solo mode. Okay, we're expecting hypercharges, but what are? Was that who spike? What is that? I need that. Oh, it's big. I, I can't sing it because I'm going to get demonetized. But y'all know what that shark thing is from El Primo. Some sort of baby like shark. Wow. This is insanely cinematic. <gasps> oh, it's Prince of Persia, and they're rewinding time. That's so cool. Welcome to Brawl Talk. I love it. Now, what's something I love Prince of Persia? Exactly, mosquitoes. Angelo is the first new brawler in this update, joining Willow's trio. I don't know how I feel about a mosquito brawl. I don't... Has there ever been a mosquito? Is this the world's first mosquito champion? This brawler lives in a swampy love tunnel at Star Park and loves gossiping about brawlers to make them fight each other. Angelo so, is a sharp shooter and the longer you hold the aim, the stronger the attacks get. Like, Besides that, Angelo Janet. can also hover over water like a mosquito. So he hovers over water like Eve. With the super, Angelo summons a part of the swamp and it damages all the enemies inside. I don't get the super. Angelo summons so it's a only part on of top. the swamp and it damages all the enemies inside. It also makes Angelo's own attack more powerful by adding poison to the arrows oh. that deal damage of Adds time. poison Angelo as well. Angelo is an epic brawler and comes with a 29 gem skin called Elf Angelo, which makes the brawler even only more Only epic? Now someone who is a bit more pleasant to listen to. Melody is a mythic brawler and the second of the update. Melody without an S. Late March. She's a popular karaoke singer at Star Park. She's not like Poco, she? Sometimes she's sweet and delicate as a rose. And sometimes what is that thing that flies around her? She's an assassin that has a long range attack that deals moderate damage. But what makes her strong is her that every looks... time she hits a target, she okay. gets a musical note around her. These musical notes keep spinning around her and deal damage on contact. Oh my she god. She can have up to three musical notes around her and they will gradually disappear after some time. So these musical notes are like Amber's gadget, but permanently passive. As her super, she gets three dashes that must be used during the same super activation. And you can't recharge your super unless you use all three dashes first. Oh, that's confusing, but awesome. To get your musical notes around you is she going to be a mythic? Onto the enemy. Melody is coming with a Norse team skin called Sif Melody. And we'll get back to this team later in this oh, video. Oh, because is Sif like a fairy? Six new hypercharges for... Cordelius. He now slows whoever is in the Shadow Realm with No! Him. Buzz can keep using his super yes! while his hypercharge is active. <laughs> so Cordelius... He now slows... We... He's basically back to day one, release of OP. Whoever is in the Shadow Realm with him. Buzz can... And then Buzz chaining supers back to back is like Fang. He Wait, does that mean he can just perma-stun perma someone? Like Buzz hypercharged onto Dynamite and then on the Poco. But what was stopping the Buzz from just perma-stunning the Poco? Is that an insta-kill if you have a hypercharged Buzz? That's messed up. El Primo now has a bigger area of impact and drags people towards him instead of pushing them away. That is massive. Primo's gonna be meta. Bell Super now homes in on her target. So Bell Super homes onto the targets, but it didn't look like it curved. Sprout's walls now deal damage if you get too close. How much damage was that on Sprout? 1,000? Why did that deal 2,000? Oh my god. And Bibi's bubble gun now splits into two if it hits a target. We saw this on Reddit. Every time it hits a target, it's going to split into double. But to how many splits? Oh my god. And the Hypercharge Unleashed event is back, but now it's only in Showdown. And both your Super and Hypercharge will charge faster. Okay, I like that this is in Showdown, because you can't just farm Hypercharges in Brawl Ball and just draw out the game. This actually kind of makes sense. Wait, but if it's only in Showdown and you need to farm 20 Hypercharges, hear me out. With 20 Hypercharges, you spin, and then you just farm on a friend and just keep charging hypercharges with a solo friend over and over could we make a video where we complete this 20 hypercharge quest in one solo showdown game maybe it's still the same deal complete the quest of the event and you get a free random faster hypercharge. hypercharge i like it the event will be live right after the update drops but only for a few days so you gotta be quick 
the next season is coming in March and it's called Sands, Sands of, Time. of Time. All these skins. The Mortis! Is that a Scorpion skins. Mortis? Shelly Dancer attacked to Terlemp and is the king of the Brawl Pets with two colors. I do like the Sel Shelly, Shelly Super. Dancer Iris and Shelly Dancer Dahlia. Dynasty Mike, he becomes a dirty wealthy jammer with his skin. <laughs> he throws gems and chests. And Thief Edgar is ready to take a bit what of the, I thought that was Tara for a second. Wait, wait, wait. Is that Jean? Sir Genie. The name oh, Serge! Lastly, Desert Scorpion Chuck being a 200. Oh, that's Chuck. I thought that was Mortis. That's even cooler. Future sprays and a custom voice and take down the effect. Line friends are getting another pack. <laughs> I need these. Is that Gus, Brock, and Colette? Oh, no, but I, I, I can't switch off from Paulette. Fangirl Colette becomes Line friends Connie. Rocket Brown mixes Brock Rocket with Brown. Bear called Is there going to be a and brown on Sally's everyone? That's so cute. Balloon Sally. More godless kings, but this time from a different mythology. They, are they the can't Ragnarok say the M word. Skins, which will be the Narsin's... Ragnarok? Holy crap. BB's got a hammer? That's insane. Fenhir Buzz. Fenhir Buzz? Now spreading chaos at oh my god, this He's might be one of the, the best skins in the game. With two color variations. Ilder Fenrir Buzz and Skuka Fenrir Buzz. Loki Chester is just a Loki? for this character. Cordelius becomes the one-eyed old father with... Uh, I don't know Cordelius. about Cord Scotty Odin. Jesse now becomes ingenious oh, that's in the Jesse! Art of hunting. And Melody gets a 29 gem skin inspired okay. by the god. Uh, I was like, who, who, who whose skin is this? Thor BB. The goddess of thunder and she's at oh, she throws her hammer instead of a bubble that's insane that actually Mecha makes so much sense effect. is that cult who's that is that leon mecha leon with the whole oh my god mecha leon color variations shadow mecha leon and radiant mecha leon and another winner from cult supercell make campaign mecha cult Shout out to PJ the Creator for being the most voted Mecha Colts King in the community. Whoa. And it also comes with two color variations. Paragon Mecha Colt and Renegade Mecha Colt. I kind of like Paragon. And random skin. <laughs> fang it's the poo skin. They pitch your fang, that's whatever. I have a feeling if you don't play baseball, you're going to pull these on star drops and be like, meh. With one extra color variation. Squeaky note, a 29th skin for Squeak. And poop spike. Literally, it's literally poo spike. I thought I was gonna have to censor myself. They literally went there. We are sh king ever. And did, the last one. Did Daddy just swear? Sh king ever. Well, if he can swear, I can swear too. <laughs> poo. And the last one, Primo Shark. Primo Wait, Shark. He's even doing do? the stupid baby shark dance. Doesn't Supercell get sued? I, I guess not. Wait, is that what I think it is? <laughs> yeah, it is. In this update, we are also releasing a new solo mode called what Trophy the? Escape. Why was that Poco at minus one and now at zero? It's 10 players against each other. Just oh like my god, you can pick up However, trophies. However, the way to win trophies in this mode is by collecting them during the match, either by eliminating players and bots or by being the last player standing. Huh. Once five players are eliminated, portals will be activated in the map and you'll be able to escape from the battle with whatever number oh, that's of trophies crazy. you have with you. But this portal doesn't work immediately. It activates as soon as you step in, but you have to wait a bit until you get teleported safely. Out so of like the a match. hot zone. If you get defeated, you will lose trophies, even if you have collected a lot of. Trophies. How do you? What's, so what does the portal do? Die. And if you defeat a brawler, you can collect all the trophies they were carrying. And there are no poison clouds because some portals could be at the edge of the maps. If nobody gets extracted until the time runs out, then everybody loses. So make sure you get to that portal. Trophy escape will so, be available as soon as the Sands of Time season begins. You want to be in the portal Barney to exit the game. Dead. And Ranked is alive! Ranked is the new competitive mode replacing Power League and it should be more rewarding, more fun and more fair. For starters, you can only select brawlers with power level 9 or above. So it should already help So this is new Power League, this is huge. Now, from bronze to gold, the matches will be a best of one and no banning phase. Pretty much like the Mega Pig. Wait, wait, wait. There's modifiers. Quick time, quick fast reload. Gold. Classic mode, will... timed detonation. So this is quick overtime. I don't know how Pretty competitive like I feel about this. That should make it a lot friendlier for casuals to start playing this mode. Huh. From diamond to masters, we go back to the format you are used to. Best of three with the ban phase. You can only upgrade to diamond if you have at least 12 brawlers with power level 9 or above. And okay. speaking of ranks, just look how beautiful they are. We have removed the wow. solo and team queues, so now you can play solo as a duo or in a team of three. And if you end up playing solo against the team, then matchmaking will adapt to make the match more balanced. 
And for more clarity, so you they can say. actually now see how many points you've gained or lost after a match. Now, this might be a bit controversial, but your rank will be reset at every season start. But we will give you a boost at every new season, so you can just get... Oh, uh, so like Path of Legends and Clash Royale. You only get this boost if you have played ranked in the previous season. And by the way, ranked seasons are now only one month long. With the new ranked, there will be a quite impactful change to the gameplay. We are also adding modifiers. I know. The first reaction is, but this is a competitive <laughs> mode! <laughs> Correct. So the only yeah. modifiers we'll have on ranked are the ones which affect both things equally. So it's up to you to adapt your strategy to whatever modifier and map gets randomly picked. The modifiers we'll have are Quick fire. When an attack hits the target, you reload an ammo. Oh. Time detonation. Reload. Progressively destroys the environment. Big friend. All brawlers have their elf points equal to the highest HP brawler in the team. Holy Fire crap. Ammo. So big friend, you have the highest health equal to your highest health brawler friend. That's busted. You basically just want to pick like Frank and Cordelius and stuff like that and just have insane health on brawlers that shouldn't have that health. In the team. Barb ammo. All damage leaves a dot, kind of like Byron. And sick bits. All brawlers are immune to all forms of crowd control, such as slow and stun. So it's up to you to adapt your strategy to whatever modifier and map that gets randomly picked. That's a fancy way of saying modifiers are competitive because both teams get the modifiers. As a filthy casual, I love this. Reddit and Twitter are going to have a field day with this, though. I can feel it in my bones. You want to have around three modifiers per season so you don't have to relearn everything all the time. We all had the same reaction we are having now but we ask you to trust us with this change. It should be more fun and make the game more I trust you, Danny. longer. Let's see how the next few seasons go. We'll be following the feedback we see on social media and the data we get from the game. The data! I can't speak for other teams, but Brawl Stars reacts to things very fast, so I genuinely trust them, and they actually listen to everyone on social media. And the Supercell chats that the creators have, they really do listen. So if this turns out to be bad, they will revert it. I trust them in that. If it sucks, we'll be ready to change it. Yeah, I called it. And how about the reward? Well, they are star drops. <laughs> what? Listen first, okay? We'll have a new type of star drop called ranked star drop. A ranked in star drop? Ranked star drop, you'll be able to collect all the previous Power League season cosmetic assets or blink. There are only cosmetic rewards in the ranked star drop. And if you've been active in the previous Power League and collected all the cosmetics and skins, yeah. you'll get Blink instead. And the skins that were exclusive in previous seasons will get recolored versions and will be added to these star drops in the future as well. No, that means I have to farm these star drops to maintain my number one rank position. We'll also have a skin of the season that you can only find from ranked star drops at a higher drop rate. And if you find it, you get it for free. No more unlocking purchase options. Okay, it's free. I love Every it. Every skin that gets added to rank star drops will remain there forever. And you can only get these skins by playing the rank mode. No. So I have to play this game and be good at it to maintain my number one most skins in the world account. There's only two people and I'm one of them. So besides the ranked star drops, we also have some legendary star drops there. The first one starting at diamond. And remember that now the seasons are one month long. So all the rewards you've seen here can be collected again every month. And we have a new type of cosmetic reward for your battle card. A new one. How do I get to, I need the highest rank now. Variations and they will get an extra upgrade for each time you reach the same rank again in a different season. Oh, wow. If that means if I see this rank, I'm going to poo my pants and insta lose. If you don't want to show your rank, you can also deactivate it on your battle card screen. The report button has finally been upgraded and it's ready to take action on toxic players. Every player will have a reputation meter. And if you get to a red card, you get suspended from playing the rank mode. You can <laughs> regain your reputation by just playing like a decent human being. When reporting, you have three options. Griefing, cheating, and just bad randoms. Griefing is probably massive punishment. Cheating is huge if that gets proven. I think not attacking at spawn is bad punishment. And then uh, what is cheating? This, this is basically insinuating win trading by takedown trading. So you just keep walking and spawn and feed them points like in bounty. No aim, no skill, no coordination. That's probably like, ah, eh, you kind of stink. Slap on the wrist. I wonder if the bad randoms compounds 
you're a little bad you're a little bit more bad and then you, you get like minus one then minus two then minus three or whatever there's also an explanation of what each of these options mean and you only have 10 reports a day this is to prevent players from over reporting you can and only report 10 a day who they <laughs> report so thank you for making the game better oh and no remember, i'm gonna get reported to oblivion for with the being bad time season Look out for the hashtag Tiff Edgar giveaway for a chance to get this skin for free. Ranked huh? quest. Am I, am I giving these away? Maybe. Check my Instagram or Twitter, I think. I, I, I don't know if I'm giving these away right now at the time of this recording. Ranked quest added. Some rank modifiers will be in Mega Pick. Now, fame gives you special cosmetics, backgrounds for battle cards, oh, wow. and player profiles. We have insane things. Some improvements rank. to the physics of Brawler animations. Wait, I'm not gonna lie. They both look the same to me. I don't know which one is the new one. They both look good, to be honest. True gold and true silver skins are back. Oh, they're the bringing Brawl more Stars true gold silver. Challenge is back in March. Oh, it's that time of year again. Changes. A satisfaction button after matches for science. Oh, this is actually kind of cool. This can kind of be for the modes like satisfaction. Did you have fun for hot zone on this specific map? That'll actually give them a ton of feedback on what modes are really fun. Because sometimes you'll play a mode and be like, I didn't want to play that, but there's a quest. I am so excited for this update.